hi everyone. Uh, in this video, I am going to show you, I am going to tell you uh, one of the most important uh, basic maintenance that uh, that you have to be careful about when you are working in the modern. So this, uh, I already made my uh, previous video about the how to clean the sea strainer. Now, today I am going to show you the difference between the good condition sea strainer and bad condition sea strainer. Sea strainer is uh, that uh, one of the most important thing that uh, most of machinery inside your motor yurch it's uh, using take the water through the sea strainer because the sea strainer what it's doing it will uh, uh, it will strain the all the barnacles all the uh, only the barnacles sea grass and sediments everything they strain uh, from the sea water that after straining that it will give to the engine or whatever maybe for the AC maybe for the bike and something uh, that uh, what kind of uh, the machine that using the sea water so the that uh, in if you working in a motor there's uh, many kind of sea strainer you can see but uh, every time you have to be very careful about the cleaning condition of the sea strainer it, it could be for your engine, it could be for your generator, it could be for your uh, the RO plant and uh, could be for your AC system. So here today I am going to uh, tell you, it, whatever you, you use for the C strainer, the most important thing is you have to be careful and you have to always, you have to check the C strainer like uh, once a week, that is depend on your regular basis, you have to check the sea strainer. Uh, most of sea strainer you can see there is a glass and uh, or there is a body with the transparent. So you can see the condition and also when you see the condition, is, if the, you can see the condition is good. Uh, actually you don't need to remove and you don't need to clean that one. But if you see the condition is bad, for example if your sea water if your AC system is become high pressure, it could be the problem with the, your sea strainer is blocked. That is the basic, the first thing that you have to check. That engine become overheat, overheat then uh, you cannot see the overboard discharge water is uh, good condition. Then you can, you have to check the sea strainer. However, today I am going to show you this is, uh, uh, this is actually using for the AC that uh, I am going to show you the difference between the good and bad condition sea strainer. Here this is uh, the normal condition sea strainer. You can see it's uh, normally clean. There's no much uh, inside uh, sea grass or anything. But you can see here is small uh, like uh, small uh, like barnacles is coming. Just you can brush this one. Kind of this condition sea strainer. You don't need to remove the uh, remove and clean because this is uh, almost clean. Now I'm going to show you the the bad sea strainer. You can see this guy here is very very bad condition. It's almost it's like 80% of sea strainer is already blocked. You can see inside all the sea grass. I show you clearly. I hope you can see. Okay, this all the sea grass is what it does. It will block the water flow through the sea strainer. And the second thing is this. Uh, sea grass can be stuck inside your AC and uh, inside your uh, maybe the water maker and uh, maybe the uh, your heat exchanger that can uh, stuck this uh, sea grass and it will uh, start to develop the barnacles inside uh, the AC piping or it will block the AC. Uh, for example, if you have that uh, tube uh, tube in tube AC system that the tube is very uh, little diameter that inside this this sea grass can uh, possible make the problem to your AC like become high pressure or something like that so that kind of sea strainer you have to be very careful then you have to you must clean and you must check every time the kind of this uh, sea strainer you actually this is this is uh, this is more dirty I mean you don't need to stay the sea strainer will become up to like this because you always have to check the somehow this this is from another board somehow that uh, the driver he didn't check the sea strainer when i see i cut 
I could see this kind of sea strainer. Then I bring here to make the video, the bit uh, show the difference between the good kind and bad condition and good condition sea strainer. I hope you can see very clearly. You can see all the sea grass inside. Okay, that is the thing that I need to show you that uh, you don't need to stay the sea strainer become up like this then uh, you have to check every time and you need to clean. It's very simple uh, maintenance that you need to close the both side well then you can remove the sea strainer uh, uh, cap then uh, you need uh, you can take out this one then just clean uh, then put it back and you are ready to go. Okay, this is uh, simple but very important maintenance that you have to be careful if you're working in the motels. And uh, I hope this video uh, helpful for you. And uh, you can subscribe my video. And uh, thank you for watching. Have a nice day.